Hi, Verbling. Hope you're all having a great day. I hope um, I hope that other broadcast didn't go on, but anyways, hopefully this one's working now. My Verbling wasn't. My Verbling app was a little wonky. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the Jim Crow laws, and those were. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, new child. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm good. <laughs> good. How do I say your name there? That's uh, Nujaya? Yeah, Natsaya. Oh, Natsaya. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Are you from Japan? Are you from Japan? Oh, no, I'm from Thailand. Thailand. Oh, okay. Thailand. okay. okay. Uh -huh. How are you doing today? I'm good. Today uh, I went to work and I've just get home, um, just got home. Um, oh, gotcha. Yeah. Is it Friday or Saturday for you? Uh, Saturday for me, but I have a part-time job on Saturday. Oh, mm -hmm. hard working. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. It's Saturday for me too. For me, it's 8.30 in the morning. Mm, 8.30 in the morning mm -hmm. and it, here it is 6 p.m. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you've already uh, had a whole day's worth. That's good. That's good. And I see Anmar. How are you doing today? Amar, Amar. Amar. Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Fine. Good. Good. And we have Asma. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks, and you. Good. Good. And Safar. And Safar. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, so far, oh, we, so can't far we can't hear you. Hear you. Um, there's probably something in this part of your screen. Yeah. It's going to be a red button. Thank you. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you, to too. Meet you. Um, so has um, anyone so ever, heard ever heard of the Jim Crow laws before? No, never. Never? Okay. <laughs> never. It's really interesting because... Um, well, first I'll say hello to everyone, and then I'll introduce the topic a little bit again. Gustavo, you came back. Hi, Gustavo. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing today? I'm very good. Thank you. Good. I see you're in your office. <laughs> yes. Good. But, uh, actually, it's, it's my house. Oh, just like a living room? Like in yes. your office, in your house, or? Yes. Oh, okay, gotcha. And there's Igor. Hi, Igor, how are you? Hi, Lorian. I'm good. How good. about you? I'm really good. It's bright and early in the morning for me. So um, for those of you who don't know that expression, to say it's bright and early, it means it's really early. <laughs> but, but I see you are fresh early in the morning. I, I try to be. I try to wake up and... You know, get ready and yes, ready to start I see, I see. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And hi, Max. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, great. Thank you. Um, the, you know, the, what's the reason of the, this um, echo? Um, are you wearing headphones? Yeah, it's it's making echo. I don't know the reason. What caused the echo? Oh. Yeah, for from I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's going on. It's you have to close Japan. the verbling window. I'll put it in the chat. Look at your no, no, chat. No, no, no. It's from Najata. 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 He ha has a verbling. Oh. She hasn't uh, headphones. She does not have headphones. I'm wearing headphones. Uh, but you still hear your, your voice. Um, so, yes. Uh, Nujaya. Oh, sorry. Nuts How do you say your name again? It's, it's okay, Natsuya. You can call me Natsuya. so. Okay, okay. Natsuya. Natsuya. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think that what might might be going on is if your verbling window is open as well, or if your speakers are on. Um. Yes. Um. Because I'm open. My. I'm hoping that only your Google uh, Plus is open with the verbling chat on the right, and if you oh. have your verbling chat open on another window, you're going to hear the echo. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I I close it. 
Good, great. Oh, I, I found victim. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Thank you, Max. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so, who else do we have? We have uh, Nesman. Oh, Nesman left. Okay, and we have Adam. How are you doing today, Adam? I'm cool. How are you? I'm good. Um, we're ha hearing a little bit of an echo from you. No. Um, my problem is window is on. It's off. It's off. Okay. Okay. Natsia, we're still hearing an echo from you. I don't know why. Oh, really? But I already closed the, the window. You closed mm. the burbling window? Yes, yes, already closed. Do you have any uh, speakers on? Um, no. But Only your okay, headphones? If, if I... Um, if I mute my microphone, it would be better. Uh, you know what? Maybe when you're not talking, it might be a good idea to mute your microphone. Just for now, okay. for some reason. Okay, okay. It's okay. okay. No Thank problem. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, so I'll just introduce kind of what we're talking about today. It's morning for me, but maybe it's night for you. Um, so it's called the Jim Crow Laws. And what they were in the United States, um, I think most of you might know this already, but... Um, in the 1700s, so in the 18th century and even before that, the Americans would go to Africa and they would kidnap um, thousands and thousands and thousands of black people and bring them to America to be slaves. And after slavery, so when slavery was abolished, abolished is a new word, I'm putting it in the chat. Abolished means canceled or stopped by law. So if a law is abolished, that means that it was a law, but now it has been abolished. So it has been thrown out the window. That's an expression as well. To be thrown out the window, it means it's been stopped. They don't do that anymore. So when slavery became um, was abolished and you weren't allowed to have slaves anymore, Many white people were still very racist. Does everyone everyone knows what racist is? Yes. Racist. Mm -hmm. It just means um, when people to don't differentiate between people. Exactly. So to say yeah. something according to, to their race or uh, their skin color. Exactly. Exactly. So exactly what Adam said. Um, when you differ, he said when you differentiate between people based on their race or their color. So people still felt that way, even though slavery was abolished, and they ended up deciding that they would have laws to separate black people and white people everywhere. So they couldn't eat in the same restaurants together, they couldn't use the same bathrooms, they had to have separate bathrooms. And the law said it was separate but equal, but it wasn't equal. So this didn't stop until fairly recently until the 1960s, uh, the Jim Crow laws, which were the laws of segregation. So segregation means basically to segregate things means to separate them into two different um, places. Oh, uh, Rod? You said uh, Rod is in the chat. Is Rod in this with us? No, I don't think so. Anyway, somebody just put in the chat um, who isn't who isn't uh, in this verbling class, but they put what about the bus? And we'll actually talk about the incident on a bus where a black woman uh, refused to get up and let a white a white man came up to her and said, "You get up, I want to sit down." And he thought he was better than her because he was white, and she just said, "No, no, I won't do that." And that's, that was in the 50s, the 1950s. So that's only like 60, 65 years ago. And from then on, people started working. They started saying, why would she have to get up just because the other guy was white? So that's when it started really, really changing. Before that, there were some, there were some people trying to stop the Jim Crow laws. But at the point that this lady decided not to get on the bus, her name was uh, not to get off the bus for this man. Her name was Rosa Parks. I'm just going to put her in here. You'll see her in the article. Anyways, do, are there any questions so far, the things that you want to know that you hope the article will look at will, will go over? 
No? Okay. Everyone go to... Uh, is anyone new to Verbling? Is anyone new uh, to Verbling? I'm a bit... Yes, I am. I am... I am new. I am oh, new kind okay. of Verbling. Oh, great. Hi, Safar. How are you? Thank you, thank you. Good. Welcome. And, uh, Adam, did you say that you're new as well? Mm, yeah, a bit, actually. It's my third time. Okay, great. Well, if it makes you feel better, it's I'm new too. I just started this week. So I hope that you can help me become a better teacher. You can give me pointers, and I still have problems with the technology. So, <laughs> um, so everyone go to this side of your screen. Go to the left of your screen and click on Google Drive. Click on Google Drive. Or you can go to this link. I've just pasted it in the chat. So if you go to the link on the uh, on the right hand side of your screen on the chat, you'll see. I so just click on that. Or you can find it down the video description. Yep, exactly, exactly. The so that's right. Material. Yep, Adam, do you want to explain that to the class one more time? Okay, go to Berlin the window. Uh, make sure that the video is posted or muted. You'll find the description down. You can read it and you follow class materials. You can click, there is two Jim Crow laws and yep. March 16 and so on. Yep. There is two. Yeah, you click on them and you, you can you can watch, uh, view them on, on the net or you can download them, I think. Okay, so that's great. So Adam, um, what Adam is saying is that might be more difficult to do when you're during in class, but for those of you who ever want to load it up before class starts, he's absolutely right. You can go and click on the class that I'm teaching, and under the description of the class, you'll see that I, I put the link there. So if you ever want to have it open so you don't have to do it during class. But anyways, so go to Google Drive. And you're going to click on the one that's for March 16th. And it says, uh, sorry, March 16th, Jim Crow Laws, not March 16th, Google. Don't, do, don't click the Google one. Click the Jim Crow Laws. Okay. And, okay, just give me one second. I'm just going to screen share this. Okay, great. So I'm thinking we'll take some turns reading. And the way I like to do my reading classes is um, if you have any questions about certain words that I don't explain, please let me know and I'll go over them uh, and I'll hopefully try to get some of it in the chat as well. So Furkan is a, um, is a student that uh, has been with Verbling for a long time and in the chat beside he just said, is racial discrimination or segregation? He said, is there any difference between the two words? So I'm just going to put in the chat, um, discrimination is actively, um, I guess, things. actively doing things against another race or culture. So you can even discriminate against uh, women, right? You can discriminate against black people, women, or um, you can even discriminate against uh, old people. You can discriminate against many different things. Segregation, segregation is the separation of people based on race or ethnicity or some other characteristics. Yes. I was going to say, dis I'm going to give you a new word, distinguishing characteristics. So distinguishing means something that sets you apart from somebody else beside you. So what sets me apart from, let's say, my brother is that I am a girl. What distinguishes me from him is that I am a girl. What distinguishes um, my computer from my roommate's computer is that mine is smaller. So it just means what's different. So let's start with Adam. Adam, do you want to read that first paragraph there for me? Okay. Uh, Jim Crow laws, right? Yep. Yeah. In the United States, the so-called Jim Crow laws, or black codes, were created to enforce 
racial segregation and included laws that would prevent African Americans from doing things that a white person could do. For instance, Jim Crow laws regulated separate use of water fountains and separate seating sections on public transport in the United States. Jim Crow laws varied between communities and states. Great. Um, and Adam, I just want to um, I just want you to repeat the two words I just put in the chat. So can you so first say the first one. Separate varied. Yes. So, hmm, do you guys see my screen share? Does it look... What does my screen share look like to you? Whoa. Like, if you my. click on my on my face, what does it look like? We cannot see Google Drive. You can't see Google Drive? Yes, at the moment. Okay. I just want to make sure that this is working for everyone who's watching. Okay, there we go. So that should be working now. Okay, good. Um, so the way that you it's said... Better to, it's better to download the file and open it all. Right, it's okay. Windows, so it's be, uh, a bit clear. Okay, you know what? I will do that next time. Thank you so much, Adam. I'll do that next time for okay. sure. You're um, welcome. <laughs> um, maybe that's a little better. Okay. Okay, so when you said separate, it's not separate... It's because if you say it, um, it's a, spelt the same word. But if you're going to talk about, let's say, separating blacks from whites, then you would you would pronounce that a as an a. Separate two things, or I'm going to um, separate these two things. But if you're talking about something being separate, so the like separate uh, use of water fountains, that would be. You would you wouldn't pronounce the a like that. You would pronounce it like separate. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And what about the next one? Can you repeat that next one? Um, segregation. Or no. So try to repeat that one that starts with a v. I'll put it in the chat again. Okay. Varied. Varied. Exactly. Yeah. Varied. Yes. Okay. Because uh, I think I'm a bit influential by the British <laughs> English. That's why I think. Yes, that's very possible. Um, yeah. hmm, I'm having a little bit of problems because I'm clicking. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. I think you're right. I, I need I, to. I, I uh, give uh, you the link for the document. If you click it, you download it. I know, but for some. You know what? I just. I think I got it here. Okay. There we uh, go. Uh, another Bible. If anyone in the class want to download it. I want to see, I just want to make sure I'm doing this right because I haven't done screen share before today. So now you can see my Jim Crow laws, right? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, that's great news. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's so helpful, so thank you. Um, so what's going on in that paragraph, Adam? Uh, what, the paragraph that I read? Yep, just try to summarize it for me. Hmm. Okay, I think that there is a situation here, a discrimination and separation between people, mm -hmm. and the Jim Crow laws are trying to, to protest or to argue against this. Something yes. Like. Um, yeah. Okay, a little bit off. The Jim Crow laws are the bad laws. So yeah. the Jim Crow laws are the bad ones, and the people are arguing, uh, sorry, people are eventually going to argue against the Jim Crow laws. Oh, yeah. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Any questions about that? Any words you didn't know, Adam? Well, uh, due for segregation... I know I'm all like Good, that's really good. Okay, and Amar, can you please read the second paragraph? Okay. Uh, the first Jim Crow law was uh, passed in uh, 
17 to 23 when blacks in the state of virgin were stripped of the right to vote and own property a great number of such laws were passed from the 1870 to the 1900s. 1900s. Mm-hmm. Okay, 1900s. Mm-hmm. To end a brave bride of uh, Afri- African-American. B- political uh, power that is started to form before this time uh, right uh, after the American the Civil, Civil War mm-hmm. the Civil War the uh, 13th, 14th and 15th uh, amendments 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 to, to the constitution of the uh, United States and the similar uh, rights uh, ACT or uh, act. Uh, act 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 of uh, 1875 uh, had the uh, uh, black Am- uh, Americans the same large states states uh, uh, as uh, white Americans the Supreme uh, Court uh, of the United States ruled uh, that uh, uh, ruled that oh my where are we I just lost it right now because I was replying to somebody in the chat where are we right now blacks and Americans legal rights Americans where You're were you muted, Amar? Jamar. Amar, you're muted. Amar, I think you might be muted. Y- yes, yeah, someone muted me. Someone muted you. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't ever mute someone. <laughs> Only I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> Maybe because I am bad at reading, he didn't want no. to hear me. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, no, no. Amar, you need this practice. This is good. Okay. Where, uh, where you, uh, my voice uh, stop? Jim Crow laws were constitutional. Um, so I think you stopped. Um, the size of Americans. How about you start at the Supreme Court? Where? Um, okay, did you finish that first little part there? Because I got a little confused. So did you finish that first that paragraph that I gave you? Yeah, I uh, I uh, the last uh, line. I stopped in the last line. I okay, good. So, okay. so start at the last line then. Okay. Uh, allowed for uh, sport, but uh, coil uh, facelets. That's okay. Okay, so let's uh, get you to repeat some words here. I'm just writing them in the chat. So f- let's do the first one first. Laws. So that is pronounced laws. Laws. Uh, laws. Uh, so, you, so you don't pronounce the W. You d- pretend it just says L A S. Pronounce it like La- this. La- yeah, La- kind of, La- but more of like, almost like laws. Almost kind of like an O. The laws. Good. That was perfect. And now do the next word. Passed. Okay. Past. 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 I'm just gonna write this down. Past. Is We. If the word in the ed, we put t. Past. Um. Well, they mean different things. Like. For example, if it's P-A-S-T, that means that something happened in the past. But if you're saying that, if you're using past, P-A-S-S-E-D, then you're using it as a verb. 
So that means you're saying something passed. So something passed me by on the street or something passed by me on the street. Right? So they, they have two slightly different meanings. Um, but they sound the exact same. Okay, and go to the next one that starts with a V. Uh, Virginia? Oh, uh, that's that is Virginia. Virginia. Yep. Ver Gin Ya. Virginia. Good. Yeah. And now the next one. Such? Such. Perfect. Such. And the next one. Surprise. So that word is actually brief. brief. Sounds like brief. Brief. Yes. Next one. And this one we all need to know for this article. Too much tea. <laughs> <laughs> that one's constitution. 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 Great, great. Constitution. Perfect. So, and then the next one. Same constitution. Uh, nope, the next one after that. Okay. Equal. 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 Good. And the next one. Facilities or yes, facilities. Facilities. Yes, good, good, Amar. So, do you have? I know there was a lot of new words in that paragraph. So, do you want to take a try at um, at summarizing that for us, or do you have some questions about it? Hmm. No, actually, uh, the the paragraph mean. Uh, uh, Jim, uh, Carl, uh, but uh, like new city for the black uh, American, equal the city of white uh, American. So That's kind of, understand. yeah. Yeah. It was basically saying that um, the Jim Crow laws were supposed to just make them separate, but they're supposed to still be equal, but obviously... Um, if you're going to separate black people from white people, and white people have more rights than black people, then obviously um, it's going to be a little bit more, you know, um, easier for the white people. So it wasn't actually equal. So what it's trying to say here is that it was first passed in 1723 um, when blacks in the state of Virginia were stripped of the right to vote and own property. So it's saying now they're not allowed to even own a house, they're not allowed to vote. So how could they really be equal, right? Yeah. Okay, um, let's move on to our next reader. Yes, uh, sorry, but what is uh, stripped? How to understand this uh, word in that context? Which one? Stripped. Stripped. So yes. If you know, you know the expression, not expression, but the word to strip something. To strip your clothes means to take your clothes off, right? Yes. So if you're going to strip a person of their rights, you're going to remove the rights. You're not going to oh. allow them to have those rights anymore. Just as if you were going to take clothes off, you're taking the rights away. Okay. Right? Um, and that's a very common word, so I'm glad that you asked that. Any more questions about vocabulary? We're good? Okay, let's get uh, our next reader, which is Gustavo. Gustavo, can you start reading our next paragraph? Uh, yes. Um, some Jim Crow laws began to be repealed in 20th century. The U.S. Supreme Court in, jo in Gwin, Gwin, the United yep. States, yep. 238. So you have, sorry, one second, Gustavo. You have a hard paragraph because when you see that little V dot, that means verses. So you're seeing right now, Gwyn would be a person's last name. So Gwyn versus United States. And then this is just a paragraph where you got a lot of numbers to practice saying out loud. So um, what that means is this person went to the courts of the United States. That's why it is Gwyn versus United States. Do you know what verses means, Gustavo? Um against uh, so verses so if you, so Gwyn I'm just going to write in the chat Gwyn v USA 
That means Gwyn versus USA. And um, as you know, USA just means United States of America. So, sorry, that should have been Gwyn. Like that. So, um, what that's trying to say is that's a court, that was, um, that was an actual court case. So this person went to the United States courts to fight against the United States and say, look, this is unfair. Okay? Um, okay, okay, continue. So Gwyn versus United States. Um, 238 U.S. 347 1950 ruled that an Oklahoma law that denied the right to vote to some citizen was unconstitutional. Nonetheless, the majority of African Americans were unable to vote in most states in the southeast of the US, USA until the uh, 1950s or 1960s. In Buchanan uh, versus is or mm -hmm. yeah, versus Buchanan versus Worley 248 U.S. 60, 1917, uh, the court held that Kentucky, that a Kentucky law could not require residential segregation. The courts slowly started repealing some Jim Crow laws in some states. states. Mm -hmm. However, it was not until 1964 that Congress actually declared Jim Crow laws permitting segregation in public facilities to be illegal. Great. Okay, I'm putting some words in the chat for you to just repeat for me first to get pronunciation down. Can you say those for me? Uh, Lauren, is um, I can see the the uh, Berlin chat. Could you please uh, sure. put it in in the sure. Google chat? Sure. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So say the first one for me. Citizens. Okay, good. Sorry, I didn't I didn't hear that before. Good. And uh, uh, the next one. Oh, sorry. No, I I will continue. Mm -hmm. uh, unable. Good. Both. Okay, so do you speak Spanish? Is it is the language that you speak Spanish, Gustavo? Yes, I speak Spanish. Okay, because sometimes I found that when I'm teaching Spanish students, it's the V and the B sounds that we need to work on for um, accent reduction. So when you say vote and you see that V sound, your teeth, your your top teeth should be touching your bottom lip when you make that sound. V. And you should hear that like a vibration. It kind of sounds like So try doing uh -huh. that sound for me. Okay. Vote. 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 Good. One more time. Vote. Good. Because what I'm hearing is a boat almost. Right? And, and oh, okay. um, so when you see that V sound, keep trying to remind yourself, okay, I, my, my top teeth should be on my bottom lip when I make that sound. Right? V, vote, and your top lip shouldn't be touching your bottom lip when you do that sound, okay? Okay. Okay, and next one. 245. Good, good. And the next one. Public. Okay, so that one is pronounced public. Okay. Public. public. Good. And the next one. Illegal. Okay, so that word is pronounced illegal. Illegal. Good, good. And that means that you're not allowed to do it. It's illegal. So uh, for the law, the law won't allow you to do it. Right? So the law is saying, this is illegal. You can't do this. Um, do you have an idea of what's going on in that paragraph? Um, Let's try to um, take a quick look at it. Okay. Oh, I should explain to you that word. So this third line uh, from the bottom. So the third line from the bottom. It says the court slowly started repealing. Repealing means to start taking them away. 
So if it says the court started repealing some Jim Crow laws, it means they started canceling some of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm, it says that um, in 1964, mm -hmm. um, the segregation uh, was declared illegal. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, before, uh, uh, slowly uh, was uh, moving to this uh, illegally. Good, exactly. So I know what you're trying to say. So you mean, slowly it was moving towards making it illegal. Yes. Yes, good, great. Okay, let's move on to um, Max. Max, can you start um, this next paragraph? for us as attitudes yeah okay all right um, as attitudes turned against segregation in the federal courts after world war II, uh, the, uh, segur, seg, uh, seg, uh, segregationist, segregationist yeah segregationist white governments of many of the states of the southeast with even more numerous and strict segregation laws uh, on the local level until the start of the 1980s. Okay, uh, you can actually do the next one as well. Just because that one was short. Let's try the next one. Yeah, yeah, okay. The modern civil rights movement is often cons considered to have been sparked by an act of civil dis disobedience against the Jim Crow laws when Rosa Parks, an African-American woman, refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white man. This led to a series of legislation and court decisions in which Jim Crow laws were repealed or annulled. Or, um, okay, I know, um, okay, I put a couple words in the chat if you could repeat those for me, please. Can you see the verbling chat on the right there? No, I can't see. Do you see the Google chat? Uh, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just on the chat. You, um, hmm, Max, do you have a little button on the left of your screen that says verbling classes? But um, I see blank. Oh, maybe your chat isn't working right now. Maybe. Oh, Max, I see you're there, though. Here, let me do this. Let me copy it from the verbling classes, what I just wrote, and I'm going to put it in the Google chat, because I can see that you're, you're writing in the Google chat. Did you see that, what I just wrote? Oh, no, that's not the right ones for you. War, yeah. You can see that war? Yeah, war. Good. War, and then the next one. War, 1960s. Good. Serious. So serious, that is not, so series is not the same. Serious. So, see the difference there? The, that one is pronounced, the first one is pronounced series, series, and the next one is pronounced serious, right? So if somebody is very serious, that's not the same as, uh, not the same spelling as the series, okay? Yeah, okay. And the next one, annulled, annulled. 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 Yes. Annulled. And, that means uh, that's another way of saying that the law was stopped. The law was no longer allowed. So what's yeah, going give on? Up. It's like give up, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. What's going on in those two, um, in those words there? Uh, sorry, in those paragraphs. What, what's going on? Yeah. Um, according to paragraph, uh, it's about the... Uh, uh, while uh, World War II, uh, there are many um, states, uh, and uh, e even more, um, uh, there are uh, there are more numerous and, uh, uh, 
r restricted um, laws um, um, uh, and also um, the, during the modern modern civil uh, civil war um, uh, African and the American women mm -hmm. um, uh, refused re uh, refused to give up the uh, against the Jean's raw laws. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So she well she refused to obey. She refused to obey the Jim Crow laws. Obey means to listen to and yeah. follow. So she said, "I'm not going to obey these laws." Exactly. Um, okay. And uh, one thing that's important about those two paragraphs is that um, it happened after World War II, and we know that during World War II, African Americans, so black people, they fought in the war for America. So. After World War II, when black men have died and fought for their country, and now they're not allowed to vote, and now they're not allowed to sit on buses with white people or in the same areas as white people. So that was a really big um, moment for um, for the Jim Crow laws to be annulled. Sorry, uh, I, I want to make sure uh, whether um, is it right or not. Uh, uh, where is the, this uh, oh, here, Legislation um, uh, and is is the mean this uh, I mean the, is the same mean with the give up? No, uh, legislation is talking about um, making up laws. So this led to a series of making up laws and court decisions, right? So it's it's telling you that legislation or laws were changing. I'll and be careful. Hmm? Equal, you mean equal? Equal meaning? No, not equal meaning. It's not. It's not the same meaning as um, being canceled. It's just talking. So legislation means the whole system that makes up laws in the United States. So I'm just going to write this in the chat. Legislation is the system of making up laws in the. USA, or the process of making up and changing laws. So it doesn't necessarily mean canceling them, it, but in this situation, it does mean canceling them. So you're right for this situation, but I just want you to know that the word itself. Okay, Sorry, I let's. I can see your. Uh, for, uh, I can see your uh, that uh, what you wrote. You can't see it. I can't. Hmm. Okay. I'll try putting it in this Google chat here. There you go. I put it in the Google chat there. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's move on to uh, Natsia. Lorian, sorry, Lorian, you skipped me, Igor. Oh, I Igor. I was after Gustavo. I'm sorry, Igor. Here, you go next. No problem. No problem. Um, and I'm sorry for everyone. Um, I'm going to have to go a little bit quicker because I have a class starting in 15 minutes as well, which you're more than ha welcome to join that as well. So, uh, Igor, you can start. The term Jim Crow comes from the minstrel show song Jump Jim Crow, written in 1828 by Thomas D. Rice, a white man, the originator of blackface performance. The song and blackface itself were an immediate hit, and by 1837, Jim Crow was being used to refer to racial segregation. In conjunction uh, with the laws, there was also Jim Crow etiquette, a set of uh, unwritten rules governing how blacks and whites should interact. Breaking of this code uh, could result in a land. How to do this word? In could in have resulted a in a lynching. Lynching, 1878-1898, so uh, 10,000 lynchings, or even a sadistic murder, some Joes, for example. Um, so we say Jose, spelled uh, J-O-S-E. So that would be Sam Jose. And um, Igor, can you please repeat? I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. 
So Jim Crow comes from a white man. Can you repeat that word for me? Uh, originator. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, the only thing originator. is in um, it's the pronunciation is more originator, not originator. Uh, so could try you to just so it's not orig originator. It's mm -hmm. or originator or i, not e. Ah, uh, okay, originator. Yeah. Much better, much better. Okay, so Short what's going team. on there, Igor? What's going mm. on in those two paragraphs? What What is a minstrel? Good question. A minstrel show is a very racist show. It's white people who put makeup on their face to look like they're black, and they basically uh, dance around and imitate black people. So it was a really, really racist show that white people would put on. So, mm -hmm. so it's saying that the term Jim Crow comes from a minstrel show song, Jump Jim Crow. So it totally comes from this really racist um, activity that white people used to partake in. So um, in 1828 by Thomas D. Rice, a white man, the originator of black face performance, black face is putting on the black makeup for minstrel mm -hmm. shows. Um, but what is the conjunction in conjunction? What is the conjunction where? Uh, yes, in conjunction. What is the meaning of conjunction? Oh, in conjunction. That means, yes. that means you could say in conjunction or you could say just with. Mm -hmm. In conjunction means with. <laughs> mm -hmm. Conjunction uh, means um, putting two things together. So you know when you're learning grammar, conjunctions are words that mm -hmm. uh, link to other words. Mm -hmm. So in conjunction is just a really fancy way of saying with. Mm -hmm. In that times was uh, also uh, etiquette, uh, a set of unwritten rules, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, with uh, how blacks and whites should interact. So how they should uh, interact. Mm -hmm. uh, so interact means how they should communicate. Yes, yes, communicate, and uh, lynching. Lynching. Lynching is when. Um, white people in the United States during this time would for no reason sometimes or they would accuse a black man of doing something really bad that he didn't actually do and they would go and find him and basically uh, hang him. They would just hang mm -hmm. him. They would kidnap him and hang him for no reason. Mm -hmm. So black women and black families always had to worry that you know the men of their families would just be taken and lynched. Yes, lynched. if they break this code, unwritten code, so they could be lynched, exactly. or even to be murdered. I'm just writing something in the chat, so I'm saying lynch is uh, like a hateful hanging, racially fueled, fueled. So I'm saying it's racially fueled, and you know how you put fuel in a car? Yes, yes, yes. If I say it's racially fueled, I mean that the lynchings only happened because, um, because they were racist. Yes, I understand. But um, we will need to move on a little bit. So we have uh, Natsia. You haven't gone yet. So Natsia, how about you start on the next? How about you start at Jim Crow laws functioned? Okay. Jim Crow laws functioned to keep black and white people separate, particularly in social settings and social institutions such as marriage. The states and cities were allowed to punish people who went against these laws. These hateful laws worked to enforce segregation amongst the race, which, which ultimately led to civil rights actions starting in the 1950s, led by individuals such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Sparks. Note, in simple terms, the civil rights movement was concerned with creating equal rights for the everyone in society, especially black people. Good. So, Natasha, um, can you repeat those two words? Which words? I just put them in the verbaling chat. Can you see that? No. Maybe I'll try putting them in the Google chat. Can you see that? 
Yeah. No? These? Okay. Yep. So that's these. And remember that when you're making that sound, your uh, your tongue should be in between your, your teeth. Yes. So it should be these. like these. These. Good, good. And then next one. Ultimately? That's ultimately. 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 Sorry, ultimately. Ultimately. Good, good. So do you know what's going on there? In that paragraph? Yeah, they were explaining some of the examples in how it worked. Mm -hmm. The deeper laws. Exactly. And then it says that um, Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks were really um, important in trying to stop the Jim Crow laws. See Martin Luther King? So it says, um, ultimately led to civil rights actions. And that means that trying to end Jim Crow laws. So it says, and then it says, led by individuals such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks. So that's what that means there. But I'm sorry, Natasha, I have to move on just to make sure I get some more in here. So, uh, Nutsaya, can you hear us? Uh, you're still on mute, though. Hello? Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay, okay maybe you can read the next little bit for us. Uh, starting at, it shall be unlawful. Uh, it shall be unlawful for a Nicolo and white person to play together or be in company with each other at any game of pool or billiards. This selection is an example of a Jim Crow law that was effective in the state of Alabama from the late 19th um, century to the early 20th century. Uh, the following are more examples of laws that caused these extreme tensions in the country. Great. Can you repeat these two for me? These two words. Um, Negro. So that so is that Negro. Negro. Yes, and that yes. is a racist word that um, white people used during this time to refer to black people. Mm -hmm. So it's not a word that you would ever use in real life, but it refers, it's a, it's called a um, prejudice word or racial, racist word. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, okay. Oh. And can you say the next one? Mm -hmm. Ratios, race, racist word. So that's racist. 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 Good. Racist word. Racist word. Um, okay. Did anyone that be, has anyone been here for a little while and hasn't been able to read yet? Oh, first, actually, Nutsaya, can you tell me what's going on in those two paragraphs? Um, I think they try to explain that um, the situation, like um, um, when white people and black people play together, is is un how to say? <laughs> I don't know what to explain. So it says it will be unlawful. Unlawful. Yep, and that means illegal. Uh huh. Ah. Exactly. So they're saying that people weren't even allowed to play pool together. Pool is like that game. Does everyone know what pool is? Yes. Yeah, so they're saying that no one was allowed to even play with black people and white people in the same game. Ah. Uh, so um, they're forbid probably to play the game together. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have um, one more question. It is, I mean, uh, Negro word, it is um, rude or uh, yes. Yes. inappropriate to say, un inappropriate. 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 Exactly. Oh, okay. I'll be keeping my... Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, who hasn't had a turn? I think I have time for one more person. Who would like to go? What Lorena, about? Lorena, I have a question. Yes? Um, what is the, the proper way to... Um, uh, mention the color of the skin. For instance, I 
brown? Is is that right or is, um, is it's, have you know a, what? A it's funny because in in the United States, it's more okay to refer to your skin color and say I'm black, I'm white, I'm brown, but or he's brown, he's black. But in Canada, um, if you want the most polite way, it's better to say where they're actually from. Because in Canada, we like to believe that we don't see people for the color of their skin. We we can see them for let's say where they're from. So you could say you know. I am from I am African Canadian and that's a way of saying that you are black or if you are from uh, Venezuela you would say I'm from Venezuela you wouldn't say I have um, you know tanned skin I it's, think the same in the United States it's not polite to say I'm black yeah. I'm white you are black you are white yeah it's more it's always more polite to say African American African American because um, is the most polite way to say it. Same with um, native people, so you don't call them uh, Indians if they are from Canada and they are the people who were first in Canada um, like hundreds of years ago before Europeans came. You don't say Indians, you call them Native Americans or Native Canadians. But that's okay. a really good question, Gustavo, and it's always good to look. Um, maybe I can have a class on that one day. Um, but yeah, it's better to say where you're from. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, everyone, I have to go to my next class, but go follow me on Verbling. That would be great. And um, you can also like me on Facebook. I'm just going to paste the link here right now. Um, there it is. And I will see you next class, hopefully. Thank you. Bye, thank you're you welcome. Teacher. I hope you found bye. this class helpful. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, See thank you. Later. you. Bye, you're welcome. Thank you.